Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking at how to change the index uh, for a pandas data frame. So last time we learned how to chop up and throw back and write to a Excel file working with pandas, but when we had this happen, we were used to seeing our index in pandas and saying, hey, that's no big deal. But now, let's say you're exporting this to a Excel file and you don't have a problem with it, but uh, maybe some of your coworkers do, they don't like it, or it's a problem, or some people are very particular, they don't want to have to delete anything. So, let's let's look at, <clears throat> excuse me, Let's learn how to re-index and manipulate it. So, all right, let's go ahead and look at some of these some of these functions. So, all right, we have let's let's run this and see where we are. Uh, let's call no Friday. That's why it is so important. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. So at first we see this and we're kind of used to this and we go, but all right, what happens if we want to index this off one of our columns? Let's say we want to take data or the date, excuse me, date and actually make that our index. Well, there is a very easy way to do this and it is actually, let's just keep it over here so we can see it. Take your data frame. Actually, let's look at it. Help. No. Friday. And it is set index. So, okay, let's pull this over. There we go. Do, do, do. Okay, that's good. All right, so here we go. Set index, key, column name. Uh, we're going to use in place so it does not create a new object. It's going to modify your data frame. So that's one of the arguments we're going to use. And here's, here's the example. So this is what it was, and this is what it's going to look like. Then we're going to see how to solve this problem right here. So all right, let's just jump to it. Come on down here. All right. So no Friday. I can type right and set index and then date the name of the column and then in place and turn that to true. I can spell right. All righty, and let's rerun this. There we go, and then call no Friday. So here we are. Now we're getting close, but if you're like me, this would annoy the ever living ends because it is out of set and you already know what the index is so you it's self-explanatory and you don't like it let's say you like it okay leave it you stop here and say you don't like it so now we come and do something very very simple it is I, was, I remember the first time I saw it I was like this can't be this simple index name none it is literally that easy don't know why I can't type today sorry everybody and there we go completely indexed what we're used to seeing and how you pull a column so it is this simple this clean with two two extra lines of code and then you can drop in your export uh, over to 
Excel and it is it is back the way you were expecting it. So there we go guys. Um, have the experimentation coming later tonight. See how it's going. I uh, got a really good question. Gonna knock that out. Um, actually I think I do have two or three in the hopper so we'll see how we go. So as always guys please drop any comments, questions, video requests below and I'll get right to them especially if there are any gaps that I have. Um, I try very, very hard, but I'm not, um, I'm not arrogant to think that I do not create any gaps or cause any confusion. And those are the videos that I love to do, any deep dives. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.